We are here in El Dorado County, just off Highway 50 near Bridal Vale Falls, where one of the biggest recovery projects from the winter storms is underway just up the road. The picturesque drive up Highway 50 into the Sierras is breathtaking around every turn. Snow-capped mountains in the distance and the raging American River below. As record-setting snowpack begins to slowly fade, impacts from this year's winter storms are still recognizable, even with warm spring and summer months rapidly approaching. Atmospheric river storms caused considerable damage this winter up and down California. The endless amount of precipitation in a short time frame created public safety concerns. Pretty much unprecedented from what I've talked to. Our maintenance supervisors said by far most challenging winter they've had, especially up in uh, with the rain and the mudslides and the slip outs here, but then in the up in the Sierra where the snow fell in record numbers. You know, we had over 500 inches of snow up on the passes. So it was just basically non-stop. We're finally kind of getting a break in the weather, but big challenges. Among the biggest issues from the storm fallout is significant road damage, primarily in the Sierras. Caltrans District 3, which maintains and operates roads in 11 Sacramento Valley and Northern Sierra counties, is in the process of rebuilding those damaged highways. All of the mountain highways were impacted in some form by the winter storms. Statewide, the total damage for road repairs was nearing $1 billion as of May. Off Highway 50, near Bridal Vale Falls, Caltrans is busy constructing a 600-foot wall after storms washed away the roadway. The projected completion date is August of this year. With daily drilling, Caltrans crews continue to work tirelessly to finish the project, just as summer trips to the pristine Lake Tahoe shores will become more frequent as the weather turns warm. So they're having to build almost a 600-foot retaining wall. It's called a soldier pile wall. And that's basically just to sustain the slope. The slope is so saturated. They're drilling down into the canyon with tiebacks to uh, secure the slope, and then they'll rebuild the, the lanes. For more on this and other stories, visit our blog at oesnews.com. Here in the Sierras, I'm Jonathan Goodell for Cal OES. For more on the recovery process, go to caloes.ca.gov and click on the Winter Storms Recovery Resources page. To find specifics on road work being done in your area, visit Caltrans at dot.ca.gov.